What this oil painting depicts is a scene that occurred in 1943. Liu Yuho, a farmer in Hao Chao village in Shanxi province, northwest China, was honored as a model farmer while his village saw a boom in grain production. In September 2021, when Chinese President Xi Jinping paid a visit to Hao Jiachao village, he stopped in front of this oil painting. Xi recalled the outstanding exemplary roles of both Hai Jiachao and Liu Yuho in a large-scale production campaign during the Chinese People's War of Resistance against Japanese aggression. The campaign was led by the Communist Party of China to make the local anti-Japanese base area self-reliant on grain supply. Now, Liu Yuho is a very good Leo's farmland was several kilometers away from home. When it's time for fertilization, Leo would rise early and leave home at dawn, carrying a basket of manure weighing over 40 kilograms. Liu's success came as a great encouragement for other villagers. Such an experience was quickly promoted across Suede which significantly improved grain output. This enabled the 520,000 people in Suede to be adequately fed, and there was even extra food to support China's war of resistance against Japanese aggression. Several decades later, the spirit of hard work continued to inspire Haija Chao villagers in their fight against poverty. In order to develop the collective economy in the village, Liu Jianxi and his colleagues visited villagers door to door. In 2018, the village set up a cooperative to gradually integrate apple growing, greenhouse farming, photovoltaic power generation, livestock farming and rural tourism into the collective economy. In 2020, the per capita disposable income of Haida Chao village reached 11,543 yuan. By then, all villages had risen above the poverty line. In February 2021, as a grand gathering was held in Beijing to mark China's poverty alleviation accomplishments, President Xi presented an award to Haida Chao village, a role model in the nation's poverty alleviation fight. Six months later, Xi came to Haida Chao village for a visit. She stressed that making villagers live a better life is the unswerving mission and aspiration of the party. He urged the whole party and the nation to carry forward the spirit forged in the fight against poverty to secure new and greater victories in fully building a modern socialist China. When leaving the village, she expressed his hope for the villagers to continue upholding the fine traditions and make further efforts in building their village into a model of rural vitalization. Whether it's the 